hello everybody, it's William Kretzer here, and today I'm with a fabulous local artist, Cindy Barry Sullivan. Cindy, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Well, good. We're so excited that you're here with us, and we want to know more about you and more about your art. So maybe explain to us how you got started in the art world, and what type of art do you do? Hey, I, um, I always enjoy, enjoyed art growing up, but then got the opportunity to take some courses every time I've been relocated with my husband. So it got into oil painting and uh, slowly got into digital art, which started as a fluke. And now it really helps me get involved in the community. Yeah. Well, that the digital art, I, I like to hear more about that because I've seen some of your digital pieces. I actually was singing um, for something for the pace and you did a piece and um, I'll have to show you guys, but you did a piece and I was in it and I was just, I was just enamored by it. I thought it was wonderful. So digital is kind of our new media so tell us about how you got started doing things digital with your artwork well i was i was really surprised that i even liked it and now love it because i'm a big physical painter but i started doing the digital as a way to pass the time when my mother was in the hospital and i i said oh i don't like this because i have a tremor in my hands and when i first started to draw on the screen it was too too slippery for me and then people are like oh we like the movement and so I started to bring the iPad with me wherever I went, and I found it was the one thing I could spend three hours on and um, you know, not worry about my mother at the time. Yeah. And it ended up being the most unique thing I did and really immersed me in the community I was living in, in Annapolis, Maryland. Ah. Well, tell us a little bit more about that, because you said every time you got relocated, tell us a little bit about your journey um, to Parker. Um, this is my sixth state with my husband, grew up in Connecticut, went to Pennsylvania, uh, took a lot of classes in all the arts in, in Pennsylvania, and then Florida, I found an art center, which really turned me on to oil painting, went to Las Vegas mm -hmm. and got my master's in drawing and painting, went to Annapolis, Maryland, and started with the digital drawing, and moved here last year with my husband's job. So I, I hit the ground running and I showed up at all the places in Parker to draw and the, the different live bands. And I, I'm glad to be going back to painting, but I also love, I think I'm supposed to be in the public yeah. interacting with people. Well, that's, that's what's so cool about your art is that you are out there in the public and just going out there and capturing, you know, whatever events are going on, you might see Cindy out there um, and with her iPad and drawing and do some things. Look over her shoulder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty neat. And like I said, you've only been here a year and a half. Uh, less than a year. And less a half. than a yeah. year and a half. Yeah. And how many, you told me this earlier, but how many um, live band drawings have you done in that? I've done a hundred forty five. Wow. And uh, since I got here and I've, mainly been in the main live music venues in Parker, and now I'm starting to venture out into Denver too. Nice, well that's cool, that's mm -hmm. great. One of my favorite things is to do uh, candid drawings of people in public places and then gift it to them on the spot. Ah. So like a, a father and a daughter or something like that, yeah. and do a quick sketch. I love elevating the ordinary in, in very candid, quick drawings yeah. too. Well that was gonna be my question, what catches your eye? Um, I'm so in love with art and with people that I'll see a gesture that suddenly becomes a great composition mm -hmm. and I just want to capture it when it's not staged is yeah. the best. Yeah. yeah. Well, which is why we'll see you at live events. You just go yes. out there and live is live, right? Right. right. <laughs> and I've been inside the, the restaurants and everything and um, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm really getting to know the town of Parker too, just yeah. be in it and everywhere. That's great. Yeah. So Cindy shared with us that her art's kind of changed from physical to digital. Um, but with that, she's had a challenge that you've gone through with, mm -hmm. you keep mentioning tremors. Can right. you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Sure. I was, uh, I was born with a tremor in my hands. It's called essential tremors. It just runs in families. And uh, I've always loved all the arts. And some of the arts that I attempted the tremor got in the way. Hmm. Like I did community theater, but I look like a nervous character, you know, or with photography and film, I can't hold a steady camera. And then I started painting. And the first time I held a brush, I thought, I don't know how I'm going to do this without mm. being able to lean. And I did it really fast and the teacher liked it. And then I had teachers show me um, art through history that I didn't know that was much more expressive, you know, than realistic. 
And so now if I had a doctor say we could stop your tremors, I don't think I would do it because yeah. it's, it's one of my tools. It's how I um, work with happy accidents and how I keep it loose. Yeah. And I would even go as far as saying for some of the artwork that I've seen, it, it adds this other layer of character mm -hmm. um, that we don't normally see. Right. Yeah. And it, it's not, um, I had a painting teacher said, you'll never get too slick. Yeah. He said some, some artists have to use their non-dominant hand or anything. Mm -hmm. And I also used it to my advantage with the subject matter. I have a whole series of boxing paintings I mm -hmm. did, children in movement, the musicians, abstract, you know, so it, it's all worked well. Well, it's been great, Cindy, talking with you today, and you guys have really got to check out her artwork um, and maybe even think about booking Cindy for your next special event, whether it's a retirement party or a wedding or just whatever you can think of. I know sometimes we hire photographers, but what a great additional piece to have an artist capturing the event live as well. So what's the best way for them to get a hold of you, Cindy? Uh, the best way would be to email me at cindy at cindyberrysullivan.com. And if you Google search under my name too, that's also my website. That's also what my name is on social media on Facebook and Instagram is Cindy Berry Sullivan. So you could direct message me any of those ways. I'd be happy to brainstorm with you about your upcoming events. Thank you so much. And she really is a spectacular artist and we are so blessed to have her here locally in Parker. Cindy, it's been great to meet you Thank today. Thank you, you too. Hey everybody, William Kretzer here, your local real estate agent. So excited to do these interviews with all of our businesses here in the area. Would love to do one with you. If you have a small business, shoot me a message and let's get you out there and get you promoted and get an interview and find out more about what it is you do. Hey, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, I'm your guy. Give me a text today and I'll take care of you as well. Have a great one.